on Loma. Uh, you yeah. talk about him a lot, I know. But just, you know, stylistically, does he have a bad style for you? Because as good as he is, he, he likes to come in. He, he doesn't, it doesn't seem like he, he's off the back foot too much. He has he goes, to come in, though. Because he doesn't know how to fight back foot. Lomachenko doesn't know how to fight back foot. Lomachenko knows how to fight inside and go side to side. And not even go side to side, just go one side. That's really it. One side and come forward. He doesn't know how to fight backwards. When he fought, who was it, Salido? He pushed him back. Didn't respect him, walked him down, and pushed him and everything. And he won the fight. Whether it was uh, sluggish, whatever whatever it was, or he had two fights at the time, don't give the man an excuse. There's a way to beat him. There is a way to beat him. No, because they didn't give him an excuse when they put him to fight for the one side with the second fight. So don't give the man an excuse of what happened and why he lost. But he probably got better since then, though. Hey, you get better fighting guys that are nowhere that, 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 that are scared to fight you, that respect you. When you fight a fighter that don't have no, that don't even care, and see you like, oh, it's a little kid, little baby, walk you down, that's all it is. That's what Salido did to Lomachenko. You know, all that experience and everything that he has, shit don't mean shit, man. It really don't. When the going gets tough, they go pussy. That, that's because when, when you're in the position you are and you check in all these boxes, speed, power, skill, that becomes one of the last questions. What happens when this guy gets hit? You know, how do you think you're going to react when, I mean, you've been hit before, but how do you think? Well, I've been hit. Oh, yeah. I've been but, hit hard but when that, when I've been a guy, hit you know, in the fight. Pro. Well, not hit you, but when a guy tests you in every way. Yeah, you know? tests your limits and everything. Yeah. How do you think that plays out when that happens with you? That's when you actually know whether who you are. That's when you find out and you figure out who you are as a fighter. Are you a fighter? Are you a warrior? Or are you a guy that, it's like, when it gets tough, do you get do you go pussy? You be like, nah, I don't want you back down. Mm. You won't ever see me catch me quit on a school. That's what's up. I'm gonna go out with a fight. And I think I've shown people. Last, uh, last year, around this time, got cut. Didn't touch it, kept bleeding, couldn't see for two, three rounds, still did what I did. And you know, at the end of the day, so it goes to show, like, I know who I am. So if it ever happens, something happens, and it gets tough, we're ready for it. Well, I'm ready for it. But, but you were talking about when you would get in there, you wouldn't respect a guy like that, whether it's Lomachenko or other, you know, established Yeah, champs. I don't yeah. care. I do not care. Nice. They have a label on him. Doesn't mean I got to put one on him. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean I got to. You guys could say all oh, this about a fighter. I don't even care. I don't even watch fights. To be honest, I don't watch fights. I, don't, I love boxing. I respect boxing, but I don't watch fights. I don't watch boxing. I, don't. I do what I do, and that's all that matters. But respect the game. Like Mick Mill would say, respect the game. That's really it. And then uh, lastly, brother, let me get one last boxing question at you. Yeah. Did you see uh, Thurman's fight? And who's who's the best welterweight in the game? Thurman, Spencer, or Crawford? Until you move up there. You know who's the best? <laughs> who's the best? I didn't even watch the fight. No, I didn't. I didn't watch the Thurman Lopez fight or the Munguia and the Inua fight. Yeah. Anyway, whatever. Yeah, I didn't watch that fight neither, so. Um, I know they had like two big fights that night, two world championship fights, separate cards, uh, different events. But um, who's the best? Uh, well, today, right now, um, it's it's in in the mix with uh, Crawford and El Spence. Those guys, but you have Sean Porter. Sean Porter. You have Sean Porter. Sean Porter is a bad dude too. That man comes to fight. When it going gets tough, he keeps coming. That's why I respect Sean, man. You good man. So it's it's a it's a stack weight class, let's just say, and it's a good one. I think the five fans are really excited for that. It's gonna be a lot of fights that you can make up, like match up, Danny Garcia, stuff like that. You know, so um, it's a good, it's it's definitely a stacked and tough weight class right now. Do do any of them actually impress Tiafimo? I know you're not you're not easy to impress, man. You you give fighters their credit, they're good, but you're rarely like that guy's good. Like is Terrence Crawford like that or? or? Crawford, um, Spence or no? Like honestly, they they are. Right. <laughs> That's yeah. why I had to ask you. I know you. Yeah, right. you know, uh, me and Crawford, we joke around and stuff. We be like, I'll whoop your ass. I'm like, all right, let's see. Like you know, we joke, but because he's mean, competitive like you are. Nah, yeah. So it's good though, man. Um, you know, only time will tell once we get up there. Hey, thank you so much, man. I've kept you too long. Anything you want to let the fans know heading into this weekend, Saturday, against Diego Magdaleno? Yes. Um, on ESPN. On ESPN. It'll be on the ESPN Plus app, so download the app. Um, 9 p.m. Pacific time, uh, midnight Eastern time. 
and um, it's a takeover. Teofimo Lopez. Uh, stay tuned. 11 and 0, 9 KOs. We're going for the 12 and 10. That's where I'm, our goal and our mindset is at right now. And we're gonna show everybody what we're what we're here to do. 2019. You guys thought 2018 was a good year. 2019 is just gonna be better. And that's what we set out to do. I hope you guys can watch us. Uh, watch me fight live. Support me. And remember, guys, I fight for you guys. Let's get it. Take over. <laughs>